Mother made all holy, throne upon thy name. Evermore the almighty child that Lord we see. While with all thou gazest on the wondrous face, blessed among all women, very full of grace. We bow in homage and adoration to thee, our heavenly mother, queen of the heavens, star of the sea, guardian of humanity, we greet thee and thy angel hosts, shedding beauty and blessing upon them and in nature. May we serve thee and our fellow men. O Holy Lady, Mother of the world, Queen of love and of compassion, with all our hearts, we pour out our love and devotion to thy feet. And we offer ourselves as channels of thy wondrous tenderness, as agents of thy ever ready help. We pray thee to use us in thy holy will, that we may grow like thee, our glorious mother. O Holy Mother, Queen of our hearts, we dedicate our lives to thy service. Ave, Ave. Angels and archangels are now around the day. Where the world's creator on her knees is laid. Where she worships over them, God and man in one. The son of highest heaven, there is royal son.
In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Amen. May the Lord purify me, that I may worthily perform his service. In the strength of the Lord, I repel all evil from this his holy altar and sanctuary. From this house, wherein we worship him. And our prayer, Heavenly Father, that he will send his holy angel to build for us a spiritual temple through which his strength and blessing may be poured forth upon his people. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Brethren, let us now lay the foundation of our temple. Christ is our foundation and our chief cornerstone. We are no more strangers and foreigners, but fellow citizens with the saints and of the household of God and are built upon the foundation of the apostles and prophets, 
Jesus Christ himself being the chief cornerstone, in whom all the building fitly framed together groweth into a holy temple in the Lord, in whom ye also are built together for an habitation of God through the Spirit. Except the Lord build the house, the labor is but lost that build it. The foundation of God stand sure, having this seal. Let everyone that nameth the name of Christ depart from iniquity. Christ is our foundation and our chief cornerstone. O oh Lord, thou hast created man to be immortal, and made him to be an image of thy own eternity. Yet how often we forget the glory of our heritage and wander on the path that is leads to righteousness. For thou, O Lord, hast made thee for thyself, and our hearts are ever restless, though we find their rest in thee. Look with the eyes of thy love upon our manifold imperfections and calling on all our shortcomings, that we may be filled with the brightness of the everlasting life. And come the unspotted and mirror of thy power, and then give thy greatness, who flesh is our Lord. Amen. God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Ghost. Bless, preserve, and sanctify. The Lord in his loving kindness look down upon you and be gracious unto you. The Lord absolve you from all of your sins and grant you the grace and comfort of the Holy Spirit. Amen. With praise and with prayer shall our temple be filled. To God alone be the glory. Divided unity, eternal, immortal, invisible, to whom be honor and glory for ever and ever. Amen. O Lord our God, how excellent is thy name in all the world. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Blessed be the Holy Trinity, the undivided unity, eternal, immortal, invisible, to whom be honor and glory forever and ever. Amen. Kyrie eleison. Kyrie eleison. Kyrie eleison. Christe eleison. Christe eleison. Christe eleison. Kyrie eleison. Kyrie 
eleison, Kyrie eleison. Glory be to God in the highest, and on earth peace to men of good will. We praise thee, we bless thee, we worship thee, we give thanks to thee for thy great glory. O Lord God, heavenly King, God the Father Almighty, O Lord Christ, alone born of the Father, O Lord God, indwelling light, Son of the Father, whose wisdom mightily and sweetly ordereth all things. Pour forth thy love, thou whose strength upholdeth and sustaineth all creation. Receive our prayer. Thou whose beauty shineth through the whole universe, unveil thy glory. For thou only art holy, thou only art the Lord. Thou only, O Christ, with the Holy Ghost, art most high in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you and with thy spirit. Almighty God, unto whom all hearts be open, all desires known, and from whom no secrets are hid. Cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of thy Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love thee and worthily magnify thy holy name. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. O God, who has prepared for thy faithful servants such good things as pass man's understanding, may our hearts be so filled with love toward thee that we, loving thee in all things, may show forth that love in continual service of our brethren. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Almighty God, who art the strength of them who put their trust in thee, without whom nothing is strong, nothing is holy, we commend to thy fatherly goodness those who are afflicted with this pandemic in our midst. And we pray thee to strengthen and to bless those who minister to them. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. We praise thee, O Lord, for the example and assistance given to us by thy holy martyr, St. Alban, the patron of our church throughout the world. And we pray thee that under his protection, thy church may continually serve thee in all good works. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. O Lord Christ, who for her wondrous humility and purity has exalted the Holy Lady Mary among the hosts of heaven, grant that we, thy people, may so follow that her most noble example, that we may at the latter end be found worthy to serve thee, even as do thy holy angels, thou who livest and reignest in glory forevermore. Amen. <clears throat> Almighty and everlasting God, with all our hearts we praise thee for the great glory of thy most holy Archangel Michael and all thy holy angels. We thank thee for their wonderful wisdom, their supreme strength, their radiant beauty. And as their resistless powers used always and utterly in thy service, so may we, following zealously their resplendent example, devote ourselves wholly to the helping of our brethren, through Christ our Lord. Amen. And teach us, O Lord, to see thy life in all the peoples of thine earth. And so guide the nations into the understanding of thy laws, that peace and goodwill may reign upon earth. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The epistle was taken from the 12th chapter of the Epistle of St. Paul the Apostle to the Romans, beginning at the first verse. <clears throat> I beseech thee, therefore, brethren, that ye present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy, acceptable unto God, which is your reasonable service. 
Let love be without dissimulation. Abhor that which is evil. Cleave to that which is good. Be kindly affectioned one to another in brotherly love, in honor preferring one another, not slothful in business, fervent in spirit, serving the Lord, rejoicing in hope, patient in tribulation, distributing to the necessity of saints given to hospitality. Bless them who persecute you, bless and curse not. Rejoice with them that do rejoice and weep with them that weep. Be of the same mind one towards another. Mind not high things, but condescend to men of low estate. Be not wise in your own conceit. Recompense to no man evil for evil. Provide things honest in the sight of all men. If it be possible, as much as lieth in you, live peaceably with all men. Owe no man anything but to love one another. For he that loveth another hath fulfilled the law. Love worketh no ill to his neighbor. Therefore love is the fulfilling of the law. Here it is the epistle. Thanks be to God. He that loveth wisdom loveth life. And they that seek her early shall be filled with joy. Teach me, O Lord, the way of thy statutes, and I shall keep it unto the end. Give me understanding, and I shall keep thy law. Yea, I shall keep it with my whole heart. The path of the just is as a shining light, shining more and more unto the perfect day. Cleanse my heart and my lips, O God, who by the hand of thy seraph didst cleanse the lips of the prophet Isaiah with a burning coal from thine altar. And in thy loving kindness, so purify me, that I may worthily proclaim thy holy gospel. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. May the Lord be in my heart and on my lips, that through my heart the love of God may shine forth, and through my lips his power be made manifest. Amen. Holy Gospel is taken from the 25th chapter of the Gospel according to St. Matthew, beginning at the 31st verse. Glory be to thee, O Lord. When the Son of Man shall come in his glory, and all the holy angels with him, then shall he sit upon the throne of his glory. Before him shall be gathered all nations, and he shall separate them one from another, as a shepherd divideth his, divideth his sheep from the goats. He shall set the sheep on his right hand, and the goats on the left. Then shall the king say unto them on his right hand, Come, ye blessed of my Father, inherit the kingdom prepared for you, from the foundation of the world. For I was in hunger, and ye gave me meat. I was thirsty, and ye gave me drink. I was a stranger, and ye took me in, naked, and ye clothed me. I was sick, and ye visited me. I was in prison, and ye came unto me. Then shall the righteous answer him, saying, Lord, when saw we thee, and hungered, and fed thee, or thirsty, and gave thee drink? When saw we thee, a stranger, and took thee in, or naked, and clothed thee? But when saw we thee sick, or in prison, and came unto thee? And the king shall answer, and say unto them, 
Amen, I say unto you, inasmuch as ye have done it unto the least of the one of these my brethren, ye have done it unto me. Then shall he say also unto them on the left hand, Depart from me, for I was in hunger, and ye gave me no meat. I was thirsty, and ye gave me no drink. I was a stranger, and ye took me not in. Naked, and ye clothed me not. Sick, and in prison, and ye visited me not. Then shall they also answer him, saying, Lord, when saw we thee in a hunger, or a thirst, or a stranger, or naked, or sick, or in prison, and did not minister unto thee? Then shall they answer them, saying, Amen, I say unto you, Inasmuch as you did it not to one of the least of these, you did it not to me. Praise be to thee, O Christ. Welcome, friends. Today is the sixth Sunday after Trinity, and the intent of the day is steadfast service. Before I begin, though, I want to say um, I just learned that we're going to be getting an upgraded sound system soon. So hopefully, uh, we won't have some of the issues we've had in the past, and we'll be a better uh, presentation for you. We look forward to be resuming our, our services with, with the congregation. It does seem kind of strange celebrating here all alone, except for Richard or whoever the sound technician is for that day. It seems very empty. And I miss the singing and the music. And your company. We look forward to resuming. But we have to be safe. We don't want to endanger anyone. And so we have to wait until the time is right. Now in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Amen. Steadfast service. I don't think any of our bishops were singing it, thinking it about tennis when they made this uh, as the intent. No, I think they were instead focusing on the life of Christ, as they should be. His life of selfless service and steadfast purpose. The epistle of Paul to the Romans that we read today for the epistle was a beautiful description of Christian ethics. If we all followed his advice, the world would be a better place. For love worketh no ill to his neighbor. This selection was from chapter 12. But the 11 chapters before it also followed the same theme, likewise encouraging the Roman churches to lead upright lives. Well, anyone who's a parent knows about steadfast service. Infants require our attention 24 seven. The little cry in the crib gets us motivated, no matter how tired and sleepy we are, to go attend to the needs of the child. But it doesn't stop there. It continues throughout life. They're still our children, 
and they still need our help. Right now, people in the medical profession are being challenged by the requirements of those with COVID-19. They are certainly learning about steadfast service. We owe them a tremendous debt of gratitude. And not just the medical people, but other, other professions also are working hard so that we may go forward in life. The Gospel in Matthew gives an interesting parable. It's one that Bishop Hain particularly liked. The sheep can be symbols of our Lord and of his sacrifice. And they are associated with the sign of Aries. The goat can be related to Pan, the Lord of the earth and of earth spirits, and the sign of Capricorn. Although the goat is generally regarded as very earthy, he can climb the mountain all the way to the top. And it is said that when he does that, he can be transformed into the unicorn, representing the spirit. The dialogue about being naked, hungry, sick, and in prison, and ill could be seen as a reference to the candidate in the mystery schools. Those who enter them are stripped of all worldly attachments. to tread a path of selfless service for humanity. For they have an immense love for humanity as a whole, just as our Lord. And so we seek to tread that path, a path of steadfast service, of selfless service, as we approach our Lord, the Christ. The Father, God the Son, God the Holy Ghost, three persons in one God, be ascribed as is justly due, all might, majesty, power, and dominion, now, henceforth, and forevermore. Amen. This morning I will recite the Nicene Creed. We believe in one God, Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and of all things visible and invisible, and in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the lone-born Son of God, begotten of his Father before all ages, God of God, light of light, very God of very God, begotten, not made, being of one substance with the Father, by whom all things were made, and who for us men and our salvation came down from heaven and was incarnate of the Holy Ghost and the Virgin Mary and was made man and was crucified for us under Pontius Pilate he suffered and was buried and the third day he rose again according to the scriptures and ascended into heaven and sitteth on the right hand of the Father and he shall come again with glory to judge both the quick and the dead, whose kingdom shall have no end. And we believe in the Holy Ghost, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeded from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and Son together is worshiped and glorified, who spake by the prophets. And we believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church, who acknowledge one baptism for the remission of sins, and we look for the resurrection of the dead, and the life of the world to come. Amen. The Lord be with thee, and with thy spirit.
We adore thee, O God, who art the source of all life and goodness, and with true and thankful hearts, we offer unto thee this token of thine own life-giving gifts bestowed upon us, thou who art the giver of all. According to immemorial custom, we now mix water with this wine, praying thee, O Lord, that we may evermore abide in Christ and he in us. We offer unto thee, O Lord, this chalice with joy and gladness. May the worship which we offer ascend before thy divine majesty as a sacrifice pure and acceptable in thy sight. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Compass thy people, and breathe forth upon them the spirit of thy blessing. May the Lord enkindle within us the fire of his love, the flame of everlasting charity. shall be world without end. Amen. Brethren, we have built a temple for the distribution of Christ's power. Let us now prepare a channel for its reception. And to that end, pray that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Father Almighty. May the Lord receive the sacrifice of thy hands and sanctify our lives in his service. 
We lay before thee, O Lord, these thy creatures of bread and wine, linking them spiritually with ourselves and praying thee to receive through them our sacrifice of praise and thanksgiving. For here we offer and present unto thee ourselves, our souls and bodies, to be a holy and continual sacrifice unto thee. May our strength be spent in thy service, and our love poured forth upon thy people, thou who livest forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with thy spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up unto the Lord. Let us give thanks unto our Lord God. It is meet and right so to do. It is very meet, right, and our bounden duty that we should at all times and in all places give thanks unto thee, O Lord, Holy Father, Almighty, everlasting God. Therefore, with angels and archangels, with thrones, dominations, princes, virtues, powers, with cherubim and seraphim, and with all the company of heaven, we laud and magnify thy glorious name, evermore praising thee and saying, Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of thy glory. Glory be to thee, O Lord Most High. Blessed is he that cometh in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. O Lord, these our oblations have served as tokens and channels of our love and devotion toward thee. But now we break the link with us and with all our things, and we pray thee to purify and to hallow them as earthly channels of thy wondrous power. We desire to offer this holy sacrifice, especially for thy holy Catholic Church, for the President of the United States and all that are put in authority under him, for William, our presiding Archbishop, for all our bishops, clergy, and faithful, for those here present, and for all whom this transitory life are in trouble, sorrow, need, sickness, or any other adversity, especially for And for those who are again about to enter their earthly life through the portal of birth, and likewise for their mothers to be, especially for. And likewise to offer for all those thy children who would have pleased thee to deliver from the burden of the flesh, especially for. that free from earthly toil and care, they may enjoy the felicity of thy presence, evermore praising thee in word and deed, O God, everlasting, living, and true. Wherefore, O Holy Lord, Father Almighty, we pray thee to look down on, and accept as a channel these offerings, and with thy Holy Spirit and word to bless, approve, and ratify them, that they may become for us the most precious body, and blood of thy son, who the day before he suffered, took bread into his holy and venerable hands, and with his eyes lifted up to heaven unto thee, God, his almighty Father. Giving thanks to thee, he blessed, break, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take and eat ye all of this, for this is my body.
In like manner, after he had supped, taking also this noble chalice into his holy and venerable hands, again giving thanks to thee, he blessed it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take and drink ye all of this, for this is my blood. As often as ye shall do these things, ye shall do them in remembrance of me. Splendor of thee, who in thy sacrament dost deign to be. We worship thee beneath this earthly veil, and here thy presence we devoutly hail. O come, all ye faithful, joyful and triumphant. O come ye, O come ye to Bethlehem. Come and behold him, monarch of the angels. O come, let us adore him. O come, let us adore him. O come, let us adore him, Christ the Lord. Yea, Lord, we greet thee, throned it on thine altar. Ever to thee be highest glory given. Word of the Father, splendor everlasting. O come, let us adore him. O come, let us adore him. O come, let us adore him. Christ the Lord. Amen. Wherefore, O Lord and Heavenly Father, we thy humble servants, bearing in mind the ineffable sacrifice of thy Son, do offer unto thee this the most precious gift which thou hast bestowed upon us. In token of our love and of the perfect devotion and sacrifice of our minds, and hearts to thee. And we pray that thou wouldst command thy holy angel to bear our oblation to thine altar on high, there to be offered by him who as the eternal high priest forever offers himself as the eternal sacrifice. And we do pray for thy servant who ministers at this altar, that meetly celebrating the mysteries of the most holy body and blood of thy Son, that he may be filled with thy mighty power and blessing. Likewise, we pray thee to sanctify thy people here present with these thy heavenly gifts, and through these mysteries do thou hallow, quicken, and bless them, that both in their hearts and in their lives they may show forth thy praise and glorify thy holy name. All these things do we ask, O Father, in the name and through the mediation of thy most blessed Son. For we acknowledge and confess with our hearts and lips that by him were all things made, yea, all things both in heaven and earth. With him as indwelling life do all things exist, and in him as a transcendent glory all things live and move and have their being. Do with thee, O mighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, be ascribed all honor and glory throughout the ages of ages. Amen. Now let us pray, following the tradition of Holy Church from of old. We now say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive them who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. 
Here we give unto thee, O Lord, most high praise and heartfelt thanks for the wonderful grace and virtue declared in the Holy Lady Mary, our Heavenly Mother, and in all thy glorious saints from the beginning of the world who have been the choice vessels of, of thy grace and a shining light unto many generations. And we join with them in worship before thy great white throne, whence flow all love and light and blessing through all the worlds which thou hast made. O Son of God, who showest thyself this day upon a thousand altars, and yet art one and indivisible, in token of thy great sacrifice, we break this thy body. Praying that by this action, ordained from of old, thy strength, thy peace, and thy blessing, which thou dost give us in this holy sacrament, may be spread abroad upon thy world. And as thou, O Lord Christ, was made known to thy disciples in the breaking of bread, so may thy many children know themselves to be one in thee, even as thou art one with the Father. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be always with you. And with thy spirit. O thou who this adorable sacrament hath left us a living memorial in pledge of thy marvelous love for mankind, and dost therein graciously draw us into wondrous and mystic communion with thee, grant us so to receive the sacred mysteries of thy body and blood, that our souls may be lifted into the immensity of thy love, that being filled with a high endeavor, we may ever be mindful of thine indwelling presence, and breathe forth the fragrance of a holy life. Amen. Body of our Lord Christ, keep me into life eternal. The blood of our Lord Christ. Draw nigh and receive this most holy sacrament.
under the veil of earthly things, now have we communion with our Lord Jesus Christ. Soon with open face shall we behold him, and rejoicing in his glory be made like unto him. Then shall his true disciples be brought by him with exceeding joy before the presence of his Father's glory. Amen, blessing and glory and wisdom and thanksgiving and honor and power and might be unto our God forever and ever. Amen. Now let us pray. We who have been refreshed with thy heavenly gifts do pray thee, O Lord, that thy grace may be still grafted inwardly in our hearts, that it may continually be made manifest in our lives through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with thy spirit. Vite, misa est, Deo gratias. The peace of God, which passeth all understanding, keep your hearts and minds in the knowledge and love of God and of His Son, Christ our Lord. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost be amongst you and remain with you always. Amen. And may the holy ones, whose pupils you aspire to become, show you the light you seek and give you the strong aid of their compassion and their wisdom. There is a peace that passeth understanding that bides in the hearts of those who live in the eternal. There is a power that maketh all things new, that lives and moves in those who know the self as one. May that peace brood over you, that power uplift you till you stand where the one initiator is invoked until you see his star shine forth. Amen. <laughs>